Around New Zealand, the most popular style of fishing is fishing with bait, whether it's stray lining, ledger rig fishing, or other types of bait fishing. For stray lining, bait presentation is really important because the baits tend to drift down slowly and fish have got plenty of time to have a look at them. I'm going to start with a single hook rig, and I'm going to talk about rigging some stray line baits, some pilchard. Whole pilchard, half pilchards, the head half and the tail half. I'm going to start with a whole pilchard. We've got two options. You can hook the bait to lie this way so that it goes head first, or you can rig it so that it goes tail first if you like. I prefer it to be tail first because the bait holds on the hook that much better and I'll show you why. I don't really want the hook to be in the tail. I would like the hook to be somewhere near the middle of the fish. That's because most snapper in particular will attack that gut section and you want to have the hook somewhere close by where they're likely to, to bite. So start near the tail, thread it all the way through. Do it again. Don't worry if your pilchard's a little bit frozen. In some respects, that's actually better. Here's the trick to it. I want it to go in there somewhere. Some people try and push it in that way. Don't do it like that. Actually reverse the hook. And you're actually going to roll it in. Roll it in to the bait so that it sits up with plenty of hook and barb exposed. The other little trick is to put a half hitch around the tail and that will then support the bait without putting pressure on the hook. If you're using a sinker, you can either have the sinker loose on the trace, but you can also pin the sinker to the bait like that. And that way the sinker's not going to be moving up and down the trace and you've got the weight close to the bait, which is where you want it. So that's how you would rig a whole pilchard on a single stray line hook. I think at this time we're going to use half pilchards, the head half and the tail half. Start with your pilchard, cut it in half. I don't like to cut them straight across, I like to cut the pilchard at an angle. This makes a more streamlined bait. It also presents some of the gut section in both pieces, and that's pretty attractive to a fish. All right, we'll start with the head. The head's got a lot of juices in it and so on, but it is more difficult to rig securely. Again, I'm using a circle hook. With a pilchard, start by passing your hook through the eye, or just in front of the eye, you'll find a little clear section there. Thread it through, take it back, and again, you want to roll it into the bait and that bait will sit quite nicely in the water it'll, it'll drift down it'll stay nice and, and compact and when the fish bites it there's plenty of hook showing for a good clean hookup. For the tail section it's the same we're going to start near the tail pass the hook all the way through so just like threading a needle bring it down and I like to insert the hook near that piece of belly that I've left in there because that's usually where the fish is going to bite first and once again you actually reverse the hook and you roll it in that way most of the hook is, is hidden inside the inside the bait but the point and the gape of the hook are exposed and that's important finish this bait off with your half hitch a half hitch is what actually holds the bait. It stops it pulling the hook out of a soft bait like a pilchard. So that's quite an important finish to the bait. And that bait you can cast quite a long way without it flying off the hook. All the best with your fishing out there. Get out there and enjoy it.